Alright, I hope you can hear me. Uh, I just wanted to show the uh, pulp uh, sleigh that I built. Uh, basically, I got a $14.99 uh, sleigh from uh, Shaw's that I used to pull Anley and my granddaughter uh, around. After she left, I uh, had holes punched on the sides and I bought a whole bunch of carabiners. Um, and paracord. I used like a 110 pound test on it, uh, strung the line around and uh, did a little loop and put a carabiner on each side. Then I got two five foot pieces of PVC and looped it through. They didn't have caps. I have one cap, but drill a hole in a cap and you slide it through. But basically you just slide the paracord through and then the PVC crosses. The reason it crosses and it's attached with Velcro. The reason it crosses is it makes the slate turn as you turn and the reason for the PVC is when you're moving um, if the sleigh is going downhill if you just had rope it would come into you so this prevents the sleigh uh, it keeps you in the control of the sleigh and then you just pack the sleigh down um, so I have two carabiners up at the front and one at the back. I reinforced everything with duct tape, of course. Uh, if the women don't find you handy, I mean, sorry, if the women don't find you handsome, at least they'll find you handy. That's a la red green. Uh, <clears throat> so the, uh, the plastic can get brittle in cold weather, so the duct tape, which actually was my brother David's idea, um, every once in a while he has a good one, um, just reinforces the plastic at the pressure point of the hole. Uh, but the good thing is then you get a tarp and you lay the tarp down and then all you do is simply take the paracord and loop it around. The carabiners actually provide a way of uh, holding the rope and very, it's very, makes it very easy to untie. I also got some lashing bungee cords that help uh, balance it as well. And really it's effortless in the snow. Uh, in the, and then I hook this, I hook at the very end of the PVC comes the paracord and you hook this to your final carabiners and then he's hooked to my backpack, the back of my backpack. So you're actually pulling the sleigh along as you're walking. Um, it makes it really easy. You can definitely carry a lot of stuff that you can on your back without feeling as much uh, pain. <laughs> so uh, that's how we came here. We loaded it up. My, I used my big backpack, put it down here, lashed it up, and uh, wrapped it in the tarp, tied it down, and we came here at night. Uh, over the trails and it worked uh, really well. I'm very surprised. So I'm really happy for uh, really a total of less than $50. You have a pulp, they call it a pulk uh, sleigh. I could have gone a bigger sleigh maybe, uh, but that's the sleigh I had for $14.99. You can't beat it. Um, and I really like it. I'll be using it. Uh, the trips like this where uh, you don't want to lug all this gear. Winter gear is, there's a lot more winter gear uh, to carry. So you have clothes. Thank God I brought extra clothes like this for a night. Um, and times like this. Uh, and I brought snowshoes. Um, I tied everything to it. Even my hiking poles, uh, I tied to it. So it worked out good. Uh, Moose kind of pulled, pushed me. He's pulled Anley around in the sleigh, but um, I didn't have his backpack to, uh, this trip, so I didn't want to pull, have him pull on, on his neck. Um, it's a different story when the tie is on his back, but um, he'll be pulling it. Um, maybe a lighter load, but both of us can pull it. Anyway, it's really brutal. Still very, very cold. 
So, um, we're packing up now. That's where I'm taking the sleigh out. Uh, once I get all my backpack uh, packed up, I'll put it on the sleigh, tie it down, and then we'll be out of here in no time back to the car. We got about a two and a half, almost a three mile um, hike out of here. But this time it's downhill and it's not at night. So it'll be a lot easier than uh, when we got here on Friday night. Okay, anyway, uh, this is Mark and Moose signing out. Moose is just enjoying the views, uh, the surrounding mountains. It's really cool on this, uh, this ridge. Uh, but uh, we're signing out after a good uh, week end at Merck Forest and Preserve. Um, on the way out, they actually have organic meats and vegetables that they sell at the center. That The farm is a working farm. It, it's a maple and uh, farm, and it's a maple processing, maple syrup. Uh, so you can buy all that stuff uh, on your way out or on your way in. They were closed when we got here, but uh, I'll pick up some. Uh, they have lamb, they had pork, they had beef, uh, they had eggs and uh, syrup, maple syrup, different grades that they make, and um, a lot of root vegetables, garlic, potatoes, and onions. So we'll pick some of that up on the way out to bring home to, uh, to my brother and Yancey because they're up, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll sign it out. So I'll, next, uh, the next uh, video probably, or pictures, will be from the hike out. Okay, see you for now.